Uh, hello there traders, Petr Cimic here from iconalysis.com. Um, I want to post the um, update on the, my um, positions um, on the US Japanese DN on the British Pound USD and also um, to post update about the recent activities what we got you know from the uh, we got some news uh, in the past days so I want to post the, my analysis my analysis of the current conditions on these two currency pairs and also I will speak about will mention the USD and um, yeah one thing also uh, I will speak about potential scams and uh, how to avoid them and what you need to look for um, how you can avoid and um, you know save um, thousands of dollars um, so I will start with the update and with on the US Japanese yen what we got in the past day and today what we got yesterday if you know I'm positioned here I bought at this point here exactly when I saw that um, I read the sentiment this I read the con behavior this behavior was caused by the bad uh, non-manufacturing PMI as you already know that my explanation for this downward money is Asian, Asian traders joining the bad news we got the strength there uh, the bar finished in the middle and then we saw uh, the sideways market um, so I will can zoom you in that so this area here you see this bar close in the middle up or upper bar next bar we got some tests and um, then it was we, we got the second next day but the point of control was set at uh, 10142 for this day and that price held very successfully and the smart money bought because of that uh, reading of the conditions and the past activities they saw the good buying opportunity and um, as you know the USD Japanese yen got a divergence in central banks as I spoke about in the short meter perspective since the Yellen said potential rate hike in September and Kuroda said that further easing is um, they will not Bank of Japan won't has it for further easing so we have some kind of divergence between two central banks that's in the short meter perspective this news effect basically just uh, gave a possibility to smart investor to buy this point once it's the pri price stabilized there um, you know and that we didn't have any news in this next two days so they easily bought at this point here some of them close here some of them still hold positions I didn't close the price didn't reach this for like 30 pips um, this was okay to close as well this was a 1-2 ratio um, at this point but I, I decided to hold position because I didn't saw any big news in the Monday as well but the Monday the sellers came in uh, and it was a strong downward movement on the, on the Monday but since I already read the background and I know what's going on there so this can be only um, let's say lack of professional money there so probably investors who bought at this point here they exit uh, at the end of the Friday then because they exited they didn't uh, touch anything in the Monday pretty much we can see that from this supply right and the supply went exactly exactly in the pip to test the same point of control um, from this area here where the buyer stepped in so they spotted again this area they marked this level again and they bought again again based on this so probably they're going to retest highs but I'm expecting even a higher price anyway right now if the price go to retest this swing high I will watch close this and potentially close there but 100 330 is my final target but at this point I will not let um, uh, the market to go back again potentially we got news in a two days for dollar very big news and I won't, don't want to hold into the news so We'll watch the price action closely and when when I reach 100 at 3 year 05 103 0 103, 5 I'll pay attention if the price go above that easily I will let this to my final target if not I will probably close this and close this but this is almost basically one free ratio it will be if I close at this point here anyway we got good rejection so far and so far I'm in plus like 50 pips on this one so this is about the US Japanese yen and my reading in the past 
uh, on the Monday here. So this is a basically due to the lack of uh, smart money, lack of uh, strong holders. Uh, the sellers got the power to, you know, for any reason it can be that um, because equity, you know, and their indexes in the Japan and so on. So whenever there is the point is there is uh, the the buyers from this point here they exit this point so they waited again this area and they can bought to this level so they scale out here they didn't want to continue this point here they let they let all the way to this point this point of control we got this and this point of control so very very good basically and they did good job here so they're positioned very good from this point as well again for another upward movement so this is about the US Japanese yen right now we'll go to the pound USD let's see what we got there so this currency pair is a uh, uh, I, I hold position since last week uh, I, I sold at 1.3 uh, um, 365 66 area I sold because I read a fundamental uh, view and I read the um, market behavior and the reasons why we got this strong upward movement on the pound USD Basically, this uh, massive demand, for example, at this point came because of the news. Um, it came because of the um, uh, strong production, I guess, at this point here. Very, very good uh, numbers there. And uh, some, uh, I call this high frequency traders and some robots and, uh, um, you know, very fast traders. Immediately, once they got the information using their news feed, they bought at this point here. So they buy, 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 buy this point here, price going higher. Anyway, since we don't trade like that, we don't trade, basically I don't trade the spikes and most of the professional did, we don't need to trade spikes at all or it's a very risky job, right? So very in very rare uh, situations, like uh, if we got, uh, if we did the research and we see that uh, we got some interest rate decision, for, for example, potential rate hike in some country, or let's say in the US, if we see the, rate hike and uh, most of analysts and you see we did research and there is a 80 percent of the banks and analysts say that price rate hike will be for example this month just example then you can't even place the pending order to benefit for spike everything other is basically uh, trying to trade versus the high frequency traders which is basically and versus the um you know the news traders and so on. So this is a very, very risky job. So we don't need to do that. We follow the market sentiment. We will read that and we base trade later on once we see what we, once we realize what's going on. So here we got the good, uh, good news for British pound price going higher. Anyway, we got continuation here. We got meeting uh, on the ECB here and the price again got the upward movement and then the non-manufacturing PMI in US, another upward push. So basically all three upward pushes here uh, the reason is basically the fundamental and what's the what bring the demand uh, <clears throat> and why the buyers came in is basically always and as I said in my journal for X Factor Tread it is always the fundamentals and the reading of the um, uh, market behavior uh, using the the logic and uh, you know it's always about the fundamental what what moved the market so all large movements Remember, it's all large moments of the market. Um, they are reaction of the news, of the fundamental conditions. If they are not, uh, so if you see, for example, the price is going uh, lower or higher, there is no high impact news or something big. It is because of the news uh, and the reading of the sentiment in the background. So remember that. So the smart money and the professional traders, they don't base trade at all according to technical analysis, right? They use a technical analysis to benefit from their fundamental view. And I will tell this like 100 times because you need to remember this if you want to start to understand and, and think like professional trader. So I'm in this business about eight years and um, like three years or almost four years, I basically, um, I base trade on the technical analysis. And I thought it was like, it is all in the price section, you know, and I tried like everyone else, <clears throat> pardon, I tried the different systems, you know, a lot of strategies, a lot of patterns, a lot of, you know, like millions of things I tried, but that was all technical, technical strategies, right? And I have the half success 
so I the best thing uh, I, I do is basically being on the break even on the count so something then I said something is not good here so it's not that every strategy is wrong it's not that it's impossible that because I did stick to, to rules to strategies I use a lot of uh, you know principles and uh, the, the proven patterns and so on but the results results were, were not so good right and then again I met the hedge fund trader um, I started to work like assistant to to, to him uh, he was pretty much my coach and uh, he told me look Peter it's you have a very good skill about technical analysis but why you don't have success and, uh, and you have don't have constant result over the over the that was a, like four three years four four years ago let's say he said it's because you base train on technical analysis and in the professional war and we here in the hedge fund we basically base trade on the fundamental conditions we use the only basically they use the basic technical analysis to position themselves on the short meter perspective and they the reason of being in trade for them it's always because of the fundamental condition and he's he told me that and from that moment i started to realize you know because you're very bomb you have millions of informations they you know everything on the internet is about technical analysis, technical analysis and you even though you have a news shadows and so on you don't pay too big attention and trying to understand the news and the reasons and how that reflects in the price action and try to read the connection between that i mean it's a very you you should i mean uh, you, you need to be very blind to avoid and don't say that fundamentals don't drive the market you know it's uh when i when i see that some someone telling me that you know that he don't pay attention to the fundamentals i know he's not professional just from that sentence you know because when i work there and i saw what professionals doing and i i did that and i translated that into my trading the results became very good okay my success became very good the reasoning of entry um and uh, my positioning and exiting and everything you know it just drastically uh went into the into the right direction so but that again a lot of traders who claim they're professional traders they want to sell you some products and this is a big warning for you and because i can uh, i will absolutely save you thousands of dollars because you can spend on on different fancy indicators fancy scanners and so on uh, which you actually don't need and not, not just it you don't need it they're not professional at all so you, you won't see that you know uh, that um, you know in the banks and hedge funds they use something like fancy indicators thermometers uh, red up uh, arrows or stuff like that forget about that they care about the shadow news they have the uh, the feed um, the different sources of the, of the news feed okay so they have for example Bloomberg terminal they have the squawk you know um, they have so you know different uh, sources the largest sources where they they see the news very fast you know and they read day by day what's going on and they see the shuttle news so they pay big attention to their positions or they scale out some positions or they secure position or they totally exit before some big high impact news so it's very very important because you know someone who is very uh, beginner in this one on the forex and someone who don't uh, understand um, uh, the who don't under understand the fundamentals he will say okay this upward moment is because we saw something upward trend line some arrow here some uh, some pattern and this up moment is because again the same things you know and stuff blah 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 and so on and so on right but the real the, re the reality is all of this moment and all for example past strength in the pound usd is caused by uh, some gathering of the some good news from the Brit uh, the great Brittany and the bad news in the non-manufacturing that was last week so we got 
um, two things here which help the pound USD to go higher and appreciate, right? The British pound uh, versus the dollar. Again, first bad uh, the, on the good production there, okay? Um, and that caused the buyers. Then some ECB meeting and the price spiked up. They reacted higher here in this area. And then the, that day of non-manufacturing in US, the price went another 110 points. Right, so there is absolutely you see the background, you know the reasoning for this point here. Now, we saw the price is going lower. Anyway, the news came out, new news, new information we collect, the bad manufacturing production um, at this point. The, the supply came in. Since we know this is a news effect by the news traders, by the high frequency traders in the past, we know that this is there is no real strength on the market this is basically on the news and as we know that short midterm picture on the british pound is a very bearish due to that they left um, european union and the investors and all banks and serious investors so they want to see how they will progress without um european union so they need to see the strong um, improvements in the economy and in the numbers before um, they want to invest in the British pound, for example. So until that happen, uh, if that happen, you, you know, now because of they need to see improvements and so on, that this will take a time and so on. The short term picture on the British pound is very bearish, and the upward movements like this caused by gathering of some good uh, readings and bad in the U.S. is basically only news, news effect. The smart money. The bad, the first bad news, the manufacturing production came in, the supply came in, right? We saw the market profile, gave us some good point of control levels, and I started to establish the selling positions. Uh, I started here to sell with a stop loss of like 40, 45 pips. And uh, uh, I should, uh, you know, I got 120 pips, one free ratio at this point. This was also okay to close at this point, uh, right? But I held because I saw that price will probably go to reach um, even potentially today we may expect reaching of my final target for this week on the British pound if I catch this one so 1.3 150 area I'm done today uh, pardon this week for the pound USD I'm about I'm, I'm finished to trade this one right because I will catch this 230 pips risking 40 pips very good uh, risk reward ratio. Not just that, we got a big high impact news tomorrow and we have a very strong uh, news um, for two days. So I don't want to trade and, and, and um, trigger any trade um, till end of the week. Right, because of that uh, very tight, uh, you know, um, we got a lot of releases, you know, I think we got the PPI CPI there in the US in the two days. We got uh, um, claim, claim account change um, and earnings in the British uh, for the British pound tomorrow. And um, I really, really don't want to base trade on and so on, you know, when I know that there is a, a very high impact news the very next day and so on, you know. So I use the condition I see how much I got the space and then I trade, right? Today, uh, I didn't exit my position. I knew there is, um, as I said, a CPI, right? Morning, but since I want to hold this position and if I'm in plus like one, two ratio, I, I for example, if the price was like here and we got the CPI report, I will exit because I will not risk this one, two ratio in my bag, right? But since the price was at this point here and my and the news and this is only like um, not even half percent, uh, not even one one ratio, so I said okay, seems I secured. I no need to worry. Even the price spike up, that's it. I'm ex I'm out of this point here, and I don't pay attention on this one. The bad CPI came in. The my stop loss and break even held successfully since we got also this point of control from this point here, and this is also high from this day. Two days ago this was a nice resistance level and nice entry for smart money and um, the news actually uh, 
came bad, which is actually good for my sell position. And right now you see how the price is progressing, right? I'm about 78 pips away from my final target and catching of 215 pips risking 40. And I'm done. I will not watch this. I, will, I mean, I will watch the market, but I will not trade anything because of strong um, morning news for British pound. Then um, for two days, um, I will have uh, strong news in the US, the key news for this week. So I don't want to tr uh, be trading uh, at that point, right? So I will hold this till end of the day and um, probably hoping for this to, 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 I don't see any problem basically right now uh, for price. There is no big, um, um, this is only spike high frequency traders, new spike. And through that price should go very easily to this point of control where I think the price will probably stop near this area here and that will finish the day so when I see this area I just exit and right but anyway even though the price don't hit that today I will exit whenever this price till end of the, at the end of the day since I'm already in plus like 130 pips which is almost one free ratio so right okay so that's about uh, the pound DSD so very very good I mean if you read sentiment good if you read conditions if you position properly you're in a very good way. Of course, on my mentorship program, I will teach you absolutely how to read um, uh, absolutely the whole concept of, uh, of how to establish the quality professional and, you know, the strong positioning, right? Based on the reading of the fundamentals, paying, being, uh, paying, paying attention to further uh, on the on the shadow of news in, in the future when you establish position and how to read the market sentiment and how to position yourself. Um, this is a, let's say the near term trading here I'm doing. So I'm using the market profile to position myself um, on near term trading. Um, and I teach you absolutely how to read the letters, um, how to read the, this um, histogram correctly. So um, to position yourself and to benefit from your fundamental view and uh, uh, your reading of, of you know of conditions of the market um, yeah and for example EURUSD EURUSD for me neutral and I will not establish any position on this one the draggy speech came out um, and nothing special happened there so I had don't, don't see any big fundamental reason for this um, fundamental picture yeah it is a bearish Right, because he program and so on, but um, uh, in terms of the price action there and so on, this is, um, for example, we, have, we got a big point of control at this point where the price stop. It's not a surprise why the price stop at one, one, one point one two hundred, because there is a strong point of control for this massive day, this here day, right, and this is not situation. If you watch pound, or if you watch the US Japanese yen, for example, so here you got some point, strong point of control at this point here. Yeah, the price also should go lower, right? Because this is also news effect. This upward movement of the USD is also caused by uh, the, uh, the 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 movements and according to the news. So yeah, this should go lower, of course, but the space and the um, the the power of this is very weak, you know, very, um, very flatty price action at this point. Uh, price reacted to some point of controls from this and this day here. And that's the strong resistance here. That's the true. But from the other side, the point of control from this point here uh, is also very strong. And, um, um, you know, I don't have any position in, in the, on the EURUSD. Yeah, it's a bearish, but the momentum and so on and the, the reading here and the market profile it's not so qualitative you know since we got a point of control at this point here yeah the strong resistance cluster there because of point of control at this point at this point you know and in this point as well so past three days we got strong resistance cluster so yeah price should go there 
40 points and maybe even go to to this point of control so 1.1 150 but that is the the um, the maximum i think this week for the, oh, the euro this to go to this area here of course depend on the news in the us and the two days and so on but but again this is uh, the space for this currency pair so yeah it's a bearish but i don't have any position um here so i have US japanese yen and pound usd and i still hold um so yeah that's about the my update um now i want to to say just um uh, to back on the on the thread what they said about the potential scams and 90 90 percent things on the internet and the products you can find is all about scam and all about to take your money you don't need basically anything except your pure logic in the informations and the, the how you collect informations from the internet uh, for, for example how, how you collect informations uh, from the how how you collect fundamentals and how you create the picture uh, it's all about that so you have the available informations as like any professional trader so you can go even on forex factory have you can read about the news and so on you, you have absolutely timing of the news and potential high impact news you know so you have everything in front of you basically you just need to uh, to learn about the, how to read the fundamentals how to use that information how to gather new informations and how to adapt to new informations that's all about the technical analysis the technical part is maybe the absolutely the, the easiest part of establishing the position it's absolutely the one of the easiest parts right you can you know if you if you understand market behavior if you understand the background of that currency pair you observe for example that your instrument you observe then you did like 80 percent of the job now you need to trigger and to play stop loss so basically you need to benefit from that view and for that i teach you how to use i basically use the near in near term in near term trading and intraday trading i use the market profile analysis and, and pure price action right the different professionals using the different uh, technical tools but the point is we all base trade on the fundamentals and current conditions reading the market sentiment you know so the being in trade and the reason of being in trade is this pretty much same of institutional investors and the professionals but there is a variations of the technical analysis i'm using for example market profile a lot because i really really um, like that principle about the market profile and how it's constructing you know it's, it's about time based you know i know exactly what's going on and what is the area where the traders traded most of the time and so on what is the value area what's the imbalance level what are the buying tails selling tails and so on so i have a really really a very very good points where i want to weigh the price before i establish my position using the fundamental um, my fundamental view um so yeah and i teach you everything of course of course i teach you how to use this how to set up this correctly uh, i use how i use this right now histogram but i also use them the letters um you know market profile uh, which is constructed by letters every letter worth 30 minutes and so on right so yeah um yeah about for example uh, i want to speak because i worked um in, you know in the let's say in the past few years i worked for example with um, volume spread and uh, i worked the volume spread analysis and the trade guider so there is something called you probably heard there's something called trade guider right it's a company which um uh which have the software their own software and they have the plugins for mt4 platform where they have the scanners for all currency pairs scanning all frames um having the um, things from the book of tom williams um you know with the volume spread analysis they have implemented that into that software and so on and so on they have a scanner but what's the problem there 
So let's say like this, the volume spread analysis, just volume spread for itself, there is uh, some very good things and very true things, right? So, and I'm, I will say, I use also this, these parts, right? So parts about the close of the bar, spread of the bar. That's what I'm using, right? The volume, not so much. Um, just like additional thing, but not big attention at all. Here, I have default volume, but not paying big attention at all. The key point is only I using there is where the bar closed um, and what type of the spread or range of the bar I got on that bar. That's pretty much what they use. But why I think this is a potential big scam? Um, yeah, they have some principles here and these principles, um, the principle of uh, volume spread analysis, it's okay if you use in the stock market where the volume is centralized and you can use volume together with this principle. But what is scammy there is basically they want to take your money and why I'm thinking that uh, they're not real um, uh, real professional traders. Professional trader will not lose time to go on, um, you know, um, to sell the products and all day um, going on the different, um, um, you know, meetings and so on. The professional trader basically will not say things like, for example, Gavin Holmes speak about it, um, and Tom Williams for, for himself, he speak that they don't care about, for example, they said they don't care about the news at all, they laugh at news. So stuff like that, you know, um, to say that on the Forex, it's like total nonsense, right? When you see that market is dry, driven by the fundamentals and driven by the news and all big movements happens because of the news, saying that you don't pay attention to the news and um, you actually not just that that you laugh at the news that is a very very unprofessional you know the second thing they sell some plugins for them mt4 platform for two thousand dollars or t whatever price thousand five hundred dollars now they design some scanner selling for fifteen thousand dollars guys it's scanner which scan like all frames and everything and tell you exactly where is good opportunity to buy or sell. I mean, wh why that? You know, okay, they don't, they want to take the money. They want to sell their product. That's the key point. But why they don't tell the real truth about that? You know, um, if you're really professional and successful trader and if you have a lot of um, um, success there, you will be already be uh, very very wealthy right you don't need to sell products for fifteen thousand dollars and saying that news don't have impact don't have high impact on, on the market and you know it's just it's not like you know you know it's a very very be very careful with the trade guider and so on you don't need all, everything of that it's okay to read the book of Tom Williams to understand of some principles using only the that spread of the bar and closing the bar and that's it that's all about that everything else you don't pretty much need it's totally necessary and it's not it's not professional even in my opinion okay but I will post more about that in the my journal for now this is all about um, and I wish you good trading and uh, hope this will go well bye bye for now and wish you good trading